So in this video, I wanted to discuss how uh, gang stalking basically morphs people into what they want people to be. And I think that in order for this operation to be as successful as it is, they have to transform people into what they want them to be. So I'm going to, and um, like when we talk about people like Stephen Mardo and, or uh, John Lang or the... Uh, are the uh, the woman who uh, was a whistleblower who uh, in a, the Atlanta Georgia sh uh, Atlanta Georgia sh shooter? I think what we're talking about is uh, the government or whatever entity is responsible for the gang stalking transforming people into what they want them to be. So like, um, so Stephen Mardo was not a he he wasn't a killer, but you know they turned him into one and i'm gonna kind of go over why that's super relevant uh what i've noticed in the gang stalking is that these people are literally trying to transform me into what they want me to be so like um and i'm fighting back like i'm not letting them do it but they're turning me into what they want me to be but you got to remember that these people can get inside your head so it's not going to be that difficult for them to really turn you into whatever they want you to be. I mean, if they have the ability to get inside your mind and mess with your mind. So Stephen Mardo was n not a killer, but they had the ability to get inside of his mind and tamper with his, his brain and his thoughts. If you have that ability, you have the ability to transform people into what you want them to be. And then you, you couple that with uh, poverty and discrimination and all these other things. So I think that's super relevant because of what I'm thinking is that it's like a causality thing where, you know, you weren't that. It's like an entrapment. It's like entrapment. So the reason why I'd say Stephen Mardo should not be, we should not look down upon Stephen Mardo's. But first off, he was the victim of entrapment. He never would have killed anybody if the people weren't doing that to him, forcing them into doing it. And second, they have the ability to get inside your mind and manipulate your thoughts. So if you could do that, you can make a person in anything. Not just that, but couple that with the fact that uh, they can they discriminate you against in every single part of life. So uh, I think maybe what we're dealing with, maybe they need they want people to uh, experiment on, and they need the public support. So instead of I really don't know. You would think they would just go after a criminal, but for some reason, it's important for them to go after certain types of people. I don't know why, but uh, I'm f I'm pretty sure that like if you're if you're sitting, I think in like in the movie Avatar, in the movie Avatar, it, it, the, the guy like the the the, uh, the guy makes the point of saying that the way the government works is if you're sitting on something that they want, they turn you into the enemy, or turn you into the bad guy, and then they justify taking it from you. So let's apply that logic to a situation like this. If for some reason they need to uh, be able to attack us and to do bad things to us, they have to turn us into the bad guy, therefore justifying it. And it was like that with the Native Americans. Like, so you, you turn that person into the enemy. And then once you've transformed that person into the enemy, you can justify doing whatever you want. But you have to turn them into the enemy. You have to turn them into the bad guy. Like so, it's kind of like entrapment in which they are transforming people into what they want them to be. So they wanted Stephen Mardo to be a killer. He wasn't a killer, but they had the ability to turn him into one. Therefore, it make him do what he did. So then they can say, "Well, this guy is a monster." But they they can transform you into a monster because they have some sort of technology that can literally get inside your head. I mean, they can get inside your head. They can put thoughts in. There. They can do all sorts of stuff. If you have that ability. That you could turn a person into whatever you want them to be. And then you can just make any claim you want. You can say, you see, that guy was a monster. And that wasn't, the guy wasn't a monster. You you got inside his head and you were messing with his thoughts and you were persecuting him and you were doing all these things. And eventually it just, you wore him down and he became what you wanted. So uh, we have um, not so much John Lang. His story is a little different. He was a whistleblower though. And that's the only you know connection that he has to uh the the atlanta shooter um but at the same time though you know i'm gonna get i'm gonna actually cover his story next so stay tuned for john lang's story because i haven't covered him yet um so from what i understand uh the government for some reason needs to be able to discriminate and persecute us 
and it has to be us so i think what they're doing is they're trying to transform us into bad people or bad guys so when they transform us into bad guys they'll be you know they'll get the support of the the community that we live in and then everybody will just be like well he's a bad guy so i think that that's might be what they're doing um with the gang stalking maybe with the gang stalking uh it's to transform us into what they want us to be on some level I don't really know. It's complicated, but I definitely, I definitely think that they're uh, they're trying to turn us into something that we're really not. And I think that like they have reasons to do it, and we don't know why. Maybe they're running some sort of experiment. I have no idea, but I just want people to keep that in mind. And that's why I don't judge Ti's. I never judge Ti's. A Ti is was he's he is being tampered with. Like, uh, think about Bucky Barnes. Think about what Captain America said to Bucky Barnes after Hydra, you know, turned him into the Winter Soldier. That's my attitude. That's my attitude towards Stephen Maddow. In case people are wondering, if you're coming on my channel and you're like, well, why is this guy protecting this, uh, this killer? Well, uh, he's Bucky. In my mind, Stephen Mardo is Bucky Barnes. And my attitude towards him is the same uh, attitude that Steve Rogers had that that wasn't you that wasn't you i mean what you did that wasn't you you didn't have a choice like the people were in your brain brainwashing you and messing with your thoughts and corrupting you and persecuting you. that was what they turned you into so stephen mardo was this the winter soldier and these people had the ability to get inside his head and do some hydra level sadist shit some hydra shit you know, because these people could be fucking Hydra. I mean, you know, the gang stalkers are like Hydra. So I guess in order, so what I'm saying is that I see the uh, gang stalkers as Hydra, like an evil force, uh, you know, an evil force that has infiltrated society. So these people are Hydra. Steve Amardo was Bucky Barnes. And that's basically what we're dealing with, okay? So these people are Hydra. They're in your fucking head, man. Fuck you with your thoughts and corrupting you. And you don't have so much fucking control over that shit. That's why we'll get upset and do something crazy. And then they'll be like, he's a crazy fucking son of a bitch. You know, once you snap, once you snap, then they judge you. Once you snap, but they're pushing you there. But they're, they're getting inside your fucking head. They got the cops. They, the cops are murdering people. Okay, so the, uh, John Lang, the cops fucking murdered this guy. Got away with that shit. All right, these cops... And I've seen the cops do that shit, right? The people, what about John Lang? What about John Lang? The gang stalkers, let me tell you about this guy. I'm going to make a video about him, but let me tell you about this guy. The gang stalkers murdered this guy and got away with that shit, okay? So what the fuck? And you notice how nobody brings him up? The gang stalkers murder people, and did, did he get arrested? No one got arrested for that. No one got arrested for it all the fucking evidence. No, these, these people fucking had a giant van with some fucking rf radio wave shit that they were using to read his mind and they just whipped the van open and just fucking hit him with that shit and he recorded it and everybody's acting like they didn't see that shit i was like we saw it that he had he recorded that shit so i'm just saying like whatever that shit was is probably how they're reading our fucking minds okay like they had a fucking dude they had a fucking uh, you have to look at john lang like i'm gonna make a video about him but just check out the fucking shit he had that's probably what they're using to read are your fucking mind man think about <laughs> <laughs> like whatever that was like a van pulls up to this guy's house and they have this big ass fucking camera looking thing this thing was huge they're probably using that shit to read your fucking mind like that's what they use against Stephen Marta like he wasn't recording it but whatever that shit was it was what the fuck they were using against Stephen Marta in order to fucking get inside his head and do the shit he was saying okay so John Lang showed the goddamn shit they're using okay and you want to know something you want to know something uh, they're gonna get away with, with kill, murdering the guy, John Lang. They got away with murdering him, uh, and no one gave a fuck that they killed this guy. I mean, all the evidence was seem to suggest that they killed him and they burned his fucking house down, and, and they got away with it. So I'm just saying, people. So yeah, I'm gonna make a video about John Lang because his story is super interesting. But I just wanted to remind people that when gang stalkers murder people, and they do, uh, they get away with that shit. Okay, that's all I'm saying. So I'm just saying, like. I had a, a woman, a girl come on my channel and she was like, oh, you're protecting a killer. 
I was like, the gang stalkers killed John Lang, and no one gave a single fuck that they murdered this guy, and they all got away with that shit. They all got away with it, okay? What the fuck are you talking about? When they kill us, they get away with that shit, and nobody gives a fuck. So it just shows how full of shit she was, okay? She didn't know shit. She didn't know shit. I was like, gang stalkers murder people too. The gang stalkers murder people and get away with it. And they get away with it. John Lang was murdered. And they, they, the cops, he was murdered by the fucking cops. The cops murdered this guy. What kind of, that's like, what the fuck? Dude, the fucking cops break into your house and fucking murder you like a bunch of goddamn fucking thugs. They're a bunch of goddamn thugs. They're fucking murder, serial killers and all this shit. And the point being is that when the cops murder people, and when I say murder them, I mean, there was they weren't even acting as police officers. They kick his fucking door in and just fucking murder his ass and then just leave and burn his house down and just eat some fucking donuts. And everybody is basically like, that's perfectly fine. Well, we're, we get murdered by the gang stalkers, it's perfectly fine. You notice nobody saying, oh, how evil they are. How evil, how evil. They kill whoever the fuck they want and they don't even so much as get fucking arrested for it. So, uh, you know, that's what I'm saying here. So you guys understand the gang stalkers can kill and do whatever the fuck they want and they just walk away as if that shit never happened. That's how it is. That's how it is. So, yeah, and we're now we're supposed to cry when uh, because of Steve Amardo. I was like, the gang stalkers kicked this guy's door in and stabbed him like 50 fucking times and they had the cops do it and it left. And everybody said, fuck them. And no one was arrested. It wasn't even it was investigated by the same people who did it. So they investigated themselves and found themselves innocent. I was like, well, you know, if I investigate myself, I'm pretty sure I'm going to find myself innocent, too. Bottom line is these people are murderers. They're murderers. And when they murder people, they get away with it. And nobody says anything about how wrong it is because they can kill and do whatever the fuck they want is the point. So and we'll learn that from John Lang. John Lang has the evidence. He has the he shows the mind control weapon the mind control weapon he actually video he recorded the mind control weapon the weapon they use is steve amardo to control his mind they he had he had he shows it in the video so that's going to be in my next video so just stay tuned because i'm probably going to try to upload that one tonight people tonight so you, you can see the truth you can see the truth see they can do whatever the fuck they want you see that anyhow let me go ahead and close <clears throat>